G'day, Scott Gooding here, uh, nutrition coach and author. I just wanna briefly talk to you about um, your health outcomes and what will largely determine those health outcomes. So it was a long held belief that health outcomes were largely determined by your inherited genes. So the genes that we are encoded, uh, genes that were encoded, um, inherited directly from your mother and your father. Research has shown that that does have some truth um, and it occupies about 10% of your health outcomes, those inherited genes. The remaining 90% and obviously the, the, the greatest bandwidth and the greatest influence on your health is your epigenetics. So your genes that are expressed or not um, as a consequence of your lifestyle, the consequence of what's occurring in your ecosystem. And when I'm talking about ecosystem, it's everything that constitutes and encompasses your your world, your life. So we're talking about, you know, the obvious ones, exercise, nutrition, sleep, but there's also um, stress, nature, frequency in nature, proximity to nature, um, rest, supplementation, hydration, um, and then relationships too, um, and how they can either um, promote a sense of well-being and promote um, the turning on of specific genes that promote health and longevity. So we are, as it stands here in 2020, we are the walking, talking legacy of our epigenetics that's been going on for the last number of decades. So whatever we've done in the past, we are now the living, walking, talking um, legacy of that. So let's say for example, you know, I, I drank probably way too much in my early 20s at uni. I might have um, imprinted certain genes that, you know, might not necessarily promote health and longevity and I might be inheriting that now, sort of fast forward a couple of decades. So what does that mean moving forward? It actually means that we have the power, so understanding this and knowing this, we have the power to almost decide our fate moving forward. So whatever we do today, tomorrow, next week, next month, consistently will directly impact which genes are expressed or not and whether we can promote health and longevity. So again, it always comes down to consistency and those areas in your life, those areas in your ecosystem that you can control the most. So control the controllable. I'm talking about sleep, nutrition, and exercise. And the rest, manage as best you can. And if you can do that, and you can do that consistently, you'll be um, setting yourself up for success when it comes to health, longevity. Hope that helps.